Hey, it's Cody. Um, it's day 11 of my methadone detox. Um, I haven't made any uploads since day 8. Basically because I just looked and felt like shit. And I had no motivation to do anything whatsoever until today. Um, compared to day two or three, this is really nothing. But I mean, it being nothing still is, is hell, believe me. I'm getting no sleep still. I'm even getting a little bit more than I was. I'm waking up. The most that I'll get is maybe four or five hours. And I mean, that's not a good night. And even then I'm waking up a minimum of once or twice per hour. Um, the only thing that's helped me with my symptoms, my symptoms being right now still nausea. The diarrhea has subsided, thankfully, hooray. Um, the restless legs, obviously. Um, that's the main problem, the restless legs contributes to all the other symptoms, especially not being able to sleep, and the anxiousness, and the urge, and the want to use. It's, it's like having your legs over a, over a fire, and everyone's just telling you not to take them off, basically. But, anyways, obviously, uh, the only thing that's helped me like I said in all my videos and anyone who's going through a methadone detox I strongly advise whether you have a, a history with um, marijuana or not try and get some make sure it's good you gotta, there's gotta be at least one of your friends that could at least tell you whether it is or not anyways um, and it will help you with all your symptoms it's not, I'm not lying. It helps so, so much. It helps me sleep. It helps my nausea. It helps my hunger. It helps my motivation. You know, sativas in the morning get me a little energized. And then at night when I need to sleep, I have my indicas and my concentrates. And the next step up for me is hemp oil. But unfortunately, I live in America. And if you live in America, you know how that is. Um, or Canada, anywhere, really, fucking UK. Anyways, I couldn't imagine how much easier this would have been if I would have had the benefits of hemp oil. And also, knowing that I can't get it isn't even, and knowing that I'm in pain because of it isn't even the main problem. What bothers me is the fact that there's people that are dying that need it in concentrated amounts, not just in synthetic pill form or even smoking. You know, if they want some real benefits, they need to they need to use hemp oil. And it it disturbs me knowing that there's men, women and children dying right now as I'm speaking, as you're watching this. And there's something out there, whether they know it or not, whether you know it or not, that can help them survive, or at least give them more of a chance in a fight compared to the chemo. Um, that they would go to jail for that, you know, or the just the simple fact that they can't even get their hands on it in the first place, it bothers me bothers me a lot. Another thing that bothers me is when there's profit in the prison industry and in the pharmaceutical industry, that's that's scary. That should that scares the shit out of me. That should scare the shit out of you too.